I was born in El Paso, Texas. That's where my ombligo lies. That is where a lot of my family from, is from. Um, both sides of my family come from Chihuahua, Mexico. But at two years old, I came over to L.A., Los Angeles, and have lived on in various parts of the east side. Growing up was con- because my parents were involved in the Chicana Chicana movement was going to a lot of events and community spaces and cultural spaces about political issues, fundraisers, and wherever those were, mostly on dif- in different parts of the east side. Um, so the racial issues overall, I mean, you could talk about how a lot of things have happened to the east side and our communities of color because of that. Um, because I was always around like Raza communities and people who were very, um, had a lot of pride in their culture and community and who they were, I feel like Maybe I was sheltered from that in a lot of ways because even if it did or it was coming out on the news and other things, I was always around people who were like positive and who were empowering. Uh, So Mujeres de Maíz is a woman of color um, art activist and wellness organization. We started out as a grassroots collective in 1997, um, just trying to create a space for wellness, um, for creativity and expression for women and young women of color. It has affected and transformed and healed us and made us healthier in mind, body, and spirit. And it has allowed us and our stories and our creativity and creating spaces like that to do, allow it to happen for others. I think definitely art helps me be emotionally healthy and stay emotionally healthy because I'm able, it's able to express my emotions, my thoughts, my experiences, um, a lot of different things um, from positive to negative from from looking outside to inside and it allows like a holistic and cult, uh, view at things and so um for me art is about educating and empowering and transforming and mujeres and maiz believes the same and so it can heal um it can inspire it can empower it can do a lot of things and it definitely has done that through um through us and through Mujeres de Maíz as individuals and as groups.